The News 4 Jack's I team is checking on potential issues with our local bridges. We found dozens are rated in poor condition. The I team began looking into this after this bridge in Pittsburgh collapsed last month, injuring 10 people. News 4 Jack's I team investigator Tark Miner dug into a database to learn ratings on our bridges and what the state's doing to keep drivers safe. In a database compiled by the Florida Highway Administration, more than 50 bridges in Northeast Florida are classified in poor condition. The label doesn't necessarily mean the bridge is in danger of collapsing, but it does signal that the structure needs maintenance and continued monitoring. Some of those bridges may only see a dozen cars on the typical day, but others carry tens of thousands of drivers. One of them, this bridge at Lim Turner Road in the Trout River, which has an average daily traffic rate of 30,500 drivers a day. It's a bridge built in 1957, and the area of concern is the bridge's substructure which is the portion of the bridge below the surface that distributes loads to below ground footings. Also on the list, the northbound and southbound spans of I-95 over the Nassau River. Each side is technically its own bridge, and again, it's the substructure that's the area of concern. Florida Department of Transportation spokesman Hampton Ray says inspectors have a close eye on the structure. Department of Transportation has a robust bridge inspection program. At minimum, every two years, we inspect our bridges. Uh, every state bridge on the state system is inspected top to bottom every two years at minimum. Ray says bridge inspectors spend a lot of time scrutinizing the stability of the bridge's foundation in Florida because most bridges are built in brackish water and that salt in the water can increase the rate of deterioration. When there is a bridge that is considered structurally deficient, that just means that we go out there more often. And some bridges, I, I use the expression, some bridges need more love. Uh, and that's that's OK. You know, we uh, it doesn't mean that the bridge is ever in any unsafe condition, because if it is unsafe, we will shut it down. The bridge inventory also includes smaller bridges like this one along Lone Star Road, crossing a very small Gin House Creek. It carries more than 10,000 cars a day. And again, its substructure had a low rating. Other heavily traveled bridges in our area in poor condition in St. Johns County, the bridge carrying U.S. 1 over Oyster Creek near State Road 207. In Bradford County, U.S. 301 over Alligator Creek near State Road 100, the bridge on San Jose Boulevard over New Rose Creek, and in Nassau County, County Road 200A over Lofton Creek. So out of the 792 bridges in Duval County that are in the National Bridge uh, Database, 509 are in good condition, 264 are in fair condition, and just 19 are in poor condition. So for perspective, those 19 bridges make up just 2.3% of all the bridges in Duval County, which isn't all that bad. Back to you, Mary.